Welcome back, Captains. We're down here at the Dunlop boat ramp, and check this bad boy out. That thing's doing 100 miles an hour sitting right on that trailer. When you know the boys are going to get that clip-on GoPro hat mount, you know it's going to be a fun day. Listen to that trailer. It sounds like it's auditioning for one of them Ricola commercials to be a horn. Now the captain on that boat says that thing ain't going to run. Well, in the meantime, everybody seems to be blocking the ramps here. You got the boat on the left that's sitting there just doing nothing. He's on his way out to the island to do a video photo shoot, and he left that thing sitting there for like 40 minutes. And this guy ain't having none of it. Well, here comes a fun one here. And on that left, there's that boat that's been sitting there. Man, that's a proper mullet there. Look at that thing. It's got dual exhaust and everything. Now, this number five boat ramp that he's in right now is slipperier. It's slick as can be. And we're going to find out here in a little bit. he stuffs that thing on the trailer and gets it on there nice and easy. Now here's one of them credit card captains right here in the wild. Well, actually, he's the owner of the place. He's going to show you how it's done to put a pontoon boat on the trailer. There you go. Back it in nice and easy. Take up one half of the ramp. He don't mess around either. Take it easy, guys. Now here it comes, right here. It's nice and calm. The tide's pretty slack right here, but still, these things are a pain in the butt as it is. You got to guide them down four. There it is, nice and easy. Now, I think I was live at this point in time, so I'm not really operating this camera here, so you guys are going to have to deal with it. But he does a nice little spready right there, and I was hoping. Well, here we go here. They do the old swapper -roo. She gets out, leaves it in four-wheel drive. I don't know why they have it in four-wheel drive here at the ramp, but they got it in four-wheel drive. I ain't used four-wheel drive at the ramp ever. And you'll hear it when these tires start chattering when he tries to make this turn. Look at the guide pole shuddering. Anyway, they back it down. They're going to spend about 15 minutes here trying to get this boat straight on this trailer here. Man, I'll tell you what, I thought rollers made it easy, but apparently not. Back over here to the right hand side, this this black fin or whatever it is you're coming out is a pretty boat. I did some live stuff, I'll put it on here a little bit later. 
goes. Back over here to the off-road champs. You can see they're still struggling with this thing to get it on here. I'm not sure what's going on. Was it on there? Did it? Makes no sense to me. Well, I better give you guys something to look at here. This guy over here on the right is lying right in the water, then hands it over to the guy that was previously blocking the ramp. A little sideways action here at the ramp never hurts anything. It's actually pretty quiet. Well, he's going he's gonna to apply some maximum torque at the front of that bow right there to try and get this thing over. and then resorts to the line to get it over there. I've never seen a struggle like this before, except for last weekend. Well, as you can see back over here to Off-Road Kings, these guys right here are backing this boat back down. I never use a trailer with rollers before, but I'm always here waiting for one to back down the ramp and not have all their winches and safety chains hooked up and that bad boy scream down the ramp on its own. Ah, I see what they need to do. They need to reposition the trailer because the trailer is not in the right position. And little fun fact, if you didn't know it, the water near the ramp, or actually where the dock is, is thicker water than it is over in the middle. It's just a phenomenon that happens here at the ramps. Well, third time's a charm. If this was boring for you, it was boring for me too. Now this is a sad situation. This lady in the jet ski trailer over here pulls up to back in, and this guy in the black truck comes over here and jumps ahead of her. Now never mind you about the maroon car in the back. That thing's legally parked right there. And
Now never mind you about that maroon car over there in the background. That thing's there just for an obstacle. And many of you know about my thoughts about jet skis. Well, this one right here didn't deserve it. This guy could have gave her just a little bit of room to get back down there instead of jumping the gun like that. Well, the white Toyota there, she gets her bearings and starts backing this bad boy down. And guess what? They actually parked over there on the right-hand side, not blocking the ramp. And that's pretty awesome. Though. That gives me a little faith next time I see some of these jet skis out there. Nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, she's doing pretty good. Straight back in and nice and slow. Well, by the time that she got settled, the guy over there in the black truck, he went ahead and yanked his boat out and he's good to go here. I don't know if you've ever walked on these boat ramps barefoot, but it don't feel good. There they are. They went over there and parked on the side like they should. And the other one pushes off, gets this thing ready to retrieve over here. Jet skis are always unpredictable. You never know if they're going to be real good or otherwise just insane when they come up there. Now she stuck that one right in there real good. That's nice. There she goes. That's real clean. Look at that. But I want you all to pay attention to the guy over here on the left now if you can. Not that one. The one that's back there on the boat, it's kind of hard for him to see. There he is. Well, they give a little high five down there, and that was a pretty excellent job. Welcome to Credit Card Captain. Now, while I was moving, this guy somehow or another fell in the water here, and I missed it. This guy's in the water. I guess he was dazed and confused by what he was looking at over there on them jet skis. Gotta keep your eye on the prize, my friend. And I think the prize is a loaf of bread and not them buns you were looking at. Now, he does the Halifax crawl out the water there and tries to make it up here on the dock. Watch this. Oh. Oh, I bet that hurt. Two. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, you get you some on that knee. I mean, the end of the dock's just a bit lower, and there's a reason why you're soaking wet right now. Man. I think he was asking them if they need help. Well, here comes another one. Decline. Well, he gives that pontoon boat a good tug over there and gets it kind of straightened out here at the ramp. Well, he's going to make it down the slippery slope here. Well, there he goes. Boom. That's number two.
Well, somehow or another, they managed to hold themselves together here and only had those two spills. And I didn't notice it till now, but that's sure enough some America boat right there. Look at the colors, red, white, blue. I think he learned his lesson. Look at him, he's going to be using both hands to walk out that ramp. That thing's slick. Well, Captain Obvious here gives him the hand signals to get this thing out of the water. I think everybody knows that that's what happens next. He gives him the little wave. Go, 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 go. You're clear. Yeah, like I said, here comes America again. He was in and out real quick. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching, liking, and subscribing. The America boat did make it out for about 15 minutes, and now he's back in. I'll see you guys again soon.